Uh, welcome very, uh, welcome very much, welcome very much, welcome very much. That's a thing I say. Psychos, it's Sarah. It's Sunday and it's time for my video. Uh, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about some things going on uh, and a little bit about my progress because it is my Sunday video and that's what I do. I'm going to start with my progress today because the rest of the video kind of is going to be really hard to move into um, what I need to talk about. <sighs> Okay, so as far as my progress goes, it's been a little bit um, mellow this week as far as work goes. I did do some work on Gryffindale. I'm on chapter nine. I believe I'm in the last section, which is section four. Um, and there are 20 chapters in Gryffindale. I'm not gonna get this editing stuff done with it. However, it is a really nice thing to kind of pull yourself away when you're writing and do this like kind of what ends up being relatively mindless because I'm not actually writing any of this and I'm not really editing so much as I'm correcting things that are obviously fucked up and data entering on, on all of the things. I did start working on bios yesterday and that was really fun. Um, I am getting more and more the impression that Gryffindale is not going to be a standalone. I don't really know what that means for me exactly because I am a pantser and so, um, not having a standalone is very strange. I did write a short story using Roderick Rathbone from Inside Darkness and that did go pretty well but I've never like written a series so this could be very strange. It could be really easy. It could be really hard. I don't know at this point. Um, it's going to be a surprise for everybody so that's kind of about where I'm at with that. So to kind of hop into this <sighs> Um, what I'm just going to call author tube drama. I kind of wanted to touch on this real briefly. I don't really want to make a tea video, as it were, because I don't feel like there's tea to be spilled from my angle. The first thing I want to tell you about the author tube drama, if you're unfamiliar with it, um, there is, there have been a few videos made, um, primarily uh, Jenna Streety, Shaylin Wrights, and um, Alexa Dunn have written, have done videos regarding um, the AuthorTube community and problems going on in it. Uh, I just wanted to make it very clear to you guys that my initial response to this was absolute confusion. This is not a problem we have everywhere in the AuthorTube community. Uh, my little pocket over here that tends to be pretty like 300 and less subscriber channels, um, we don't have this drama. We have author tubers who have had to take breaks for various reasons. None of us have been unsupportive of that. Um, we've had author tubers who have um, had a change of plans. We've had them have changed what they do on their channel. We've had them do all these things. We tend to be really supportive. I don't know who for sure they're referring to as far as um, basically making people feel bad that they haven't worked and things like that. That is not something I've experienced here, nor have I felt it from people I don't know. Um, I don't think that I'd be doing this video if it weren't for the comments that I noticed on, um, I believe it was on Alexa Dunn's last video. The fact of the matter is that many of those comments were people saying, I was thinking about making an author tube channel and now I feel like maybe I shouldn't because I don't want to get dragged into this shit. Um, and I just want to assure you that you don't have to get dragged into it. Um, there are plenty of us out here who have nothing to do with this drama and who have no idea what's really going on. Uh, I can kind of deduce some things because I'm not an idiot and I'm part of the community and I've seen these authors um, talk on their channels. So I do have an idea of what they're referring to, um, but... Quite frankly, it doesn't really touch me and it doesn't really concern me all that much. Um, and I have, I mean, I don't have the smallest channel in the world. 175 subscribers, I believe, is what I'm at. Um, that's not nothing. And there are definitely author tubers who have fewer channels. And I would bet you they haven't had this experience either. Um, I feel like this is 
much more of a one group problem rather than a whole community problem. And I'm not hating on them. Things happen. People get into it. There are spats. There are disagreements. Things like that. That's not my business, quite frankly. And it's not a concern I have. I just don't think that it is worth worrying yourself if you really want to make an author tube channel um, about getting involved in this stuff if it kind of freaks you out that this is going on. The fact of the matter is that not everyone is involved in it. Not everyone even knows about it. It is not that big of a deal. Um, and realistically, you're not going to have 10,000 subscribers very quickly on AuthorTube. So the, the likelihood that that would be your group of people um, early on is pretty low. And, and I don't mean that to be a jerk. I don't mean that to like dissuade anyone from doing this. AuthorTube is not the most lucrative YouTube area and any YouTube area is hard to kind of build a following in because people already follow the people they like. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you are interested in making an AuthorTube channel, by all means, please do so. Don't let this drama, this what probably amounts to catty bullshit, but I don't know for sure because once again, I don't actually know what the hell's going on. Um, don't let that turn you off of doing something that might really be very rewarding. I will continue to tell people that one of the best groups I have ever joined is the AuthorTube community. I have found so many supportive people, so many people who are um, willing to tell me what I'm doing wrong without telling me that that means that I suck and who are able to talk with me about what's going on and not judge me and treat me well and at the same time they're all very talented and they all have their own strengths and weaknesses and they all need their own things and need things from you the same way you need things from them and it's a give and take just like any other relationship so i don't want you to be discouraged from doing author tube because there's some drama in this fairly high-end group that has almost nothing to do with the rest of us. So please don't let that turn you off of AuthorTube um, and don't let that make you feel like you shouldn't make an a AuthorTube channel. If you do want to make an AuthorTube channel, one of the best places to go to build your following and make some friends and not be involved in drama would be the hashtag AuthorTuber group on Facebook. Um, that is where I found a lot of my friends. That's where I found a lot of my streamers. I post every week um, asking who wants to join in our stream. Uh, and um, that's that's where most of those people come from, most of our guests. Um, so just keep that in mind. It is not as scary as it sounds like it is. It's not going to be the same thing that all of these other author tubers are talking about because it's really not that serious out here. Um, most of us are just going about our business. Keep in mind that not all of us author tubers know each other. Um, even some of the bigger ones don't know other bigger ones. They just it's just not reasonable for us to all know each other. Um, even if we've come into contact with each other, we probably don't know each other very well. There are very few author tubers that I would consider actual friends, um, but there are plenty that I consider friendly acquaintances. So keep that in mind. Understand that even if one author tuber is having some drama, that doesn't necessarily mean the whole community is having some drama. And the last thing I wanted to point out to you is um, this is a fact of your life. This is not a fact of AuthorTube or YouTube or anything. Um, anytime someone is trying to sell you something, take what they say with a grain of salt. If they're trying to sell you anything, and if they're trying to sell you something that is going to cost you more than a week's pay, take that with fucking 12 grains of salt. And then if it's going to cost you more than two weeks of pay, take it with a whole goddamn salt shaker. Stop letting people rob you because they're saying the right things. When someone is selling something, they are trying to get you to buy it. That is my biggest complaint about the AuthorTube community. A lot of people trying to sell shit that they should not be selling. Um, and a lot of very honest people getting ripped off by these people because they don't understand that this is not something they should be paying for. So keep in mind that there are a lot of services out there you can pay for, but there are equally as good services that are not paid for, and you should always look very carefully before you pay someone to do anything for you. Don't just hire the first editor who comes along. Don't hire the first book cover creator. Don't hire the first person who comes along and offers you sunshine and rainbows and blows it up your ass because they're full of shit. And that is true across the board. That is absolutely true. Don't ever just spend your hard earned money on something because someone tells you that it's important. You need to make sure it's important before you believe what someone says. 
That being said, I don't know what these other author tubers are selling you. Um, I don't know what these programs are, but I would bet you most of these programs consist of a combination of information that you can get everywhere else for free in one place. I personally don't think that's worth the money and I certainly don't think that's worth weeks of income or your rent payment. Um, please, please, please don't ever put yourself in a place where you can't feed your family or you can't eat or you can't put gas in your car or you can't get to your day job because you think this is the most important thing I can do as a writer. Because at the end of the day, no matter what bullshit anyone else sells you, the one and only thing that you cannot do without as a writer is writing. That's it. Everything else is optional. There are people who can do a book and never meet an editor themselves, never do any of these things because they go and they go, they go the traditional publishing route and traditional publishing helps hook them up with all these people and they take it off of their advance and they set it up in a way that they don't have to put any money out of pocket. That's fucking great. That's great. If that's what you're looking for, then go look for that. Don't look for the cheapest answer. Um, make sure that you know that what you're doing is what's best for you. And I'm not telling you you have to hire an editor. That's not my fucking business. If you want to release your book without an editor, you release that book without an editor. That is not up to me. That is not up to the person next to me. That is not up to someone who has a million subscribers. It's up to no one but you. So keep in mind that all of these decisions are yours. AuthorTube should offer you nothing more than suggestions and direction. It shouldn't make your decisions for you. As soon as someone comes at you like they're going to make your decisions for you because that's what you need, you need to really be wary because those people are probably trying to sell you something and what they're trying to sell you is probably bullshit. But I think that does it for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and for watching. I really appreciate you guys coming and listening to me. Let me know what you guys think about the AuthorTube drama down below. I'm really sorry if this came across as kind of shitty. Um, I'm not trying to be shitty. I just want to point out that this is not all of us and this is not a problem we all have. And this is certainly not a problem I have with my group of author tubers that I've come into contact with, which is kind of an array. Um, I've never had any of them act shitty about what someone does or, or whether or not someone works or how somebody's process works or things like that. I've never had those problems. Um, but I do want you to make sure that you are protective of your money because at the end of the day, um, we all have to support ourselves and we have to look out for number one and number one is yourself and no one else is looking out for number one except you. Um, so don't let them, don't let people make you feel shitty about, um, looking out for yourself because you shouldn't be breaking your bank and you shouldn't be, um, you shouldn't be spending a month's income to have someone tell you shit that you can find for fucking free. It just isn't reasonable. And um, that's the kind of overpackaged bullshit that you see in all communities. So don't think that it's an author tube problem. This is an everybody problem. Human beings are shit and they're always trying to get away with something. And just keep in mind, I'm shit too. We're all shit. We all want for ourselves. Um, and don't let somebody tell you that's not true because that's what we want and that's what we're doing. We're all fueled by desires that have to do with getting something for ourselves. Whether or not that's the only thing that's going on, that's a person by person basis. But we all are fueled by wanting something for ourselves, whatever that be. So one of the things you might want to do when you're watching these big author tubers who feel like they might be part of this drama and you're not quite sure, listen closely. Listen to what they're actually telling you. Listen to what's actually important to them and decide if it's what's actually important to you too. Have a good week and good writing. Bye. Oh, and CJ's messaging me. Good morning, even though we've been talking for like an hour already. Whatever. Whatever, CJ.